Well, okay. The whole idea behind this is to capture some hummingbirds coming to the hummingbird feeder. Whether they do or they don't, I'm not sure. If they do, I have a hummingbird poem. In the meantime, perhaps we'll do with... Uh, oh, here they go, here they go. Okay, good, 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 good. The hummingbird. I strained to see the hummingbird in the shade of a crepe myrtle tree. I strained to see that hummingbird and found him seeing me. How diminutive a creature he, such fine detail, so alert of eye, a hovercraft of exquisite features. Oh, how he could fly. I strained to see the hummingbird while he was seeing me. His needlepoint siphon beak, his iridescent emerald back, his feet so tiny I could barely see, yet I know that they were black. I strained to see that hummingbird, but he tired of seeing me. Off he went, a feathered bullet, from shade of the crepe myrtle tree. Off to the trumpet flower bushes in the distance I could see. One by one, into each blossom, his siphon beak he pushes. On his rounds and hovering purpose, with business-like precision. Then out of sight his rapid flight beyond my keen-eyed vision. I'd like he to think he to San Marcos to find another crepe myrtle tree where a pair of lovely eyes I know, perhaps the hummingbird to see. And on that note, perhaps I might wait to see if the hummingbirds will visit the feeder while I sit here reading poems. And perhaps I'll read a poem about another type of bird entirely and that being a scissor tail, one of my favorites. An elegant light gray grace with white and black and blush of flashing salmon red caught my sky-wandering eye in its aerobatic arabesques of star-spread flight. Such an instinctive majesty and beauty of form given to a flycatcher by the ultimate artist is the brief visual joy I express to myself itself a way of worship of so worthy a maker? Perhaps. Whatever the reason, this is my first sighting of the season, and I look forward to another. Hmm. Cardinals in crisis. Not Catholic hierarchy. Birds. A family of cardinals in crisis, outside one of many windows set in brick and bars of steel. They built their nest in shady branches of a crepe myrtle tree. Flashes of brilliant scarlet for anyone who might care to see, when the male, in gallant pose, brought food or relief to his somewhat drab by comparison cardinal female mate. She, a dedicated mother to her clutch of cardinal nestlings. On this day, continuous calls she makes attract attention of curious eyes of cat and man. A drama of nature at play in earnest dimensions of her dilemma, drawing sparrows who make both cardinal parents anxious to protect the first of their brood to contemplate wander. He, the curious little cardinal, eager to try his growing wings. Early by a day or two, he clings to a branch beyond security of the well-camouflaged nest. His plight dangerous, mother and father cardinal never too far from their little brave one. The female chases the sparrows. The scarlet male harries the cat. Odds are stacked against them. Cardinals in crisis for the night. Lo and behold in day's early light, Ma Cardinal with her fledgling high upon the second story ledge. It is a good way to greet the day. I stay long enough to see them both fly away to the other side of a sweet summer solstice day where the dramatic play of Cardinals in crisis has a happy ending. Wolfen. Wolfen. It's okay. And on that note, I shall have to bid you adieu.